Welcome to On A Shoestring Production. Dreamcast TV. Before you even commence your walk, you're surrounded by a random Garden of Eden, teeming with alien life forms, feeling their way out of every crack and crevice of their concrete and tarmac dungeon. But we're not exploring pavement flora today. Rough castle hunting, near the Saxon shoreway, north of Folkestone, so called because that was apparently the original coastline around the time of the collapse of the Roman Empire. The way things are going, maybe that's the future one too. However, the castle, despite its misleading local name, Caesar's Camp, is in fact believed to be Norman. You have to use a bit of imagination now though, because all that remains are the earthworks. But the views are absolutely breathtaking up there. Check that out. Who needs a map or a drone when you can just look off an old cliff top? I remember playing with my toy soldiers as a child and dreaming up all sorts of battle scenarios on derelict bits of wasteland. And then I remember a much earlier haunting memory when my parents took me into a decrepit old antique shop in South End on Sea. I saw the ghostly figure of a medieval knight slowly rise up out of an ancient hand-carved chest, like King Arthur's sword being drawn from its stony scabbard. As with so many outings, it's not so much the destination as the memorable surprises we encounter along our journey that count. It's funny how some of the seemingly most inhospitable land on the planet, like around MOD ground, Dungeness Nuclear Power Station, or near the Folkestone Eurotunnel Terminal, can provide the most unlikely of homes for nature. You can be looking at wild orchids one second, and then hear someone on the Eurotunnel loudspeaker going, This is a staff announcement. Tracy to reception, please. You can witness the surreal juxtaposition of a beautiful red fox tentatively stepping across the hedgerow shaded pathway on one side and the hum of articulated lorries masked by the trees on the other, queuing up for their subterranean journeys. The real world story much crazier and unpredictable than any buried in the pages of a dusty old book. Will we even have air flight if we hadn't been inspired by the marvels of nature? How much of our modern world would even exist if we lived in a lifeless vacuum? Thank you for watching my video and please feel free to leave a comment and feedback. Now that you see that video you might want to click on these other cardboard adventures.